Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own dotting tool just like this one out of things you can find around your house. A dotting tool that we're going to make can be used to texture your polymer clay such as on this Santa hat and chicken nugget charms. It can also be used to paint on faces on your charms. It can also be used for nail art designs. So we're going to start off by taking any pencil. I prefer mechanical, but you could use a regular yellow pencil as well. For a mechanical pencil, whenever you take the eraser out, you can see that the plastic part is hollow, so the pen will be able to go directly through the plastic, unlike a yellow pencil, wherever the eraser stops, it hits solid wood. And you'll also be needing a straight pen. You can find these in you or your mom's sewing kits, and you can also purchase them at the dollar store. So all you're going to do is you're just going to stick the straight pin into the top of the eraser and push it down. Now again, since I'm using a mechanical pencil, the pin can go directly through it, but if I was using a yellow pencil like this one, it would stop at the bottom of my eraser. So I'm just going to continue to push the pin through until it meets the eraser. And you're basically finished. So now I'm just going to test out all the three methods using my homemade dotting tool. So I'm going to start off by texturing some polymer clay. I'm just going to press the tool into the polymer clay numerous times until I create my desired effect. As you can see, it comes out looking great just like the chicken nugget charm. So now we're using our dotting tool to create circles with the nail polish and acrylic paint both of which have similar textures but are usually used for different things. I'm going to start off with my nail polish. And as you can see, the dotting tool creates very uniform dots, and if you put less paint on the ball tool, you can create smaller dots shown here. So now for the acrylic paint method, which is a little bit thicker than the nail polish consistency, so I suggest putting some nail polish remover in there to thin it out, or even some water possibly, I haven't quite tried that, because the dots will be a little bit more ununiform than the nail polish, but it still works great if you're painting on a face, because usually you won't have to make dots that are all too big. So just create the same steps as you did for the nail polish, and you're finished. So these are what our dots come out looking like, pretty uniform. So that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to thumbs up this video and check out all of the links in the description bar to subscribe. Bye everyone.